Hi, I am Dr. Rashmi Chaudhary, the consultant obstetrician and gynecologist in Cloud9 Hospital, Belandur, Bangalore. Yes, if a mother is having gestational diabetes, that is diabetes of pregnancy, or she is an overt diabetes on insulin or medication, it predisposes your child of having the infant respiratory distress syndrome. The infant respiratory distress syndrome is a very significant cause for the neonatal morbidity and mortality. It is a specific lung disease which is caused by the decreased production of surfactant as well as lung immaturity. The surfactant is a protein which is glycoprotein which is secreted by the type 2 alveolar cells in the lung. An unborn child starts producing surfactant from 26 weeks of the intrauterine life and it is complete by 36 weeks. So, if a child is born before that, then the surfactant production may not be enough and this surfactant production enough amount is very important to keep the alveoli of the child open. If the surfactant is deficient, the child will not be able to breathe because the alveoli will close after the expiration and the surfactant, it reduces the surface tension of the fluid in the alveoli. So decreased production or insufficient amount will lead to the breathing difficulty in the child. The surfactant production is in cases of gestational diabetic or overt diabetes mothers, it is directly related to the level of the sugar in the mother. If there is a sugar levels uncontrolled or it is not well managed, then this high level of insulin is reflected in the baby also leading to hyperinsulinemia and this high level of insulin it interferes with the differentiation of the type 2 alveolar cells in the lungs as well as this high level of insulin interferes with the release of the certain enzymes which are the key enzymes involved in the synthesis of production of surfactant. So the result is that there is a decreased level of surfactant the baby is not able to breathe properly. There are certain conditions which predisposes a woman that their child will have a more incidence of the IRDS, that is the infant respiratory distress syndrome. If the sugars are uncontrolled, if delivery is happening before 36 weeks or if it is a cesarean section. So aim is to maintain a good glycemic control throughout the pregnancy like fasting blood sugar should be below 90 or 96 and the postprandial should be below 120 and another way to prevent IRDS is that we are thinking that the baby is going to be delivered then in those cases we give the mother injection beta methasone 12 milligram 24 hours apart and that this steroid two doses are given and this causes premature liberation of the surfactant and which is very very helpful for the prevention of infant respiratory distress syndrome.